Welcome to Stock Babies, the only gaming show for the average Joe and far beyond. It's for everyone actually, so I really don't understand why it's for the average Joe. Because, you know, we, we send it, we deliver it for the average person to consume. It's not full of... But it's for everyone. Yes, but it's not full of um, gaming banter and things that like people, regular people won't understand. Ah, oh, you cut the fat off. Yes, yeah, so we cut the fat off. The leaner, nicer, potter. Yeah, but we're probably gonna end up screwing that up somehow. Anyway. Of course. You could also follow me on Twitter at DJ Guttercat and find out when all our new content is available. Also, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just look up Stock Babies in YouTube, and you'll probably find us there. Uh, hit the subscribe button because we need them subscribers. Yeah, we need those uh, the subscribers. We need to live. We need to survive. We we need booze. So you know, hit that like. Give us a you know, subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell if you really want to know when these episodes exactly go up. Because um, sometimes on Twitter or Facebook or whatever, I'll tell you guys things and it possibly might not be true. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, not right away at least. All right. And, you know, if you if you um, subscribe to us, if you like us right now early on while we're still growing, you might get a shout out. Just like Mr. Willy Will here. He actually um, sus- uh, subscribed to us. He gave us a little shout out here. And uh, so we like to give back. You know, you can follow him at on his Twitter at Willy Will FB. He's also an accomplished Twitch player. And again, you can follow him at Willy Will FB. Willy Will. <laughs> also, you could also follow Mr. Alexanderos um, on Facebook if you can find him. He's also a supporter. Um, his he goes by the Xbox handle Poison Lover. Dope. Right? Uh, that's actually cool. Uh, that's how it's actually yeah, that's, how that's that. pretty cool, actually. Oh, wait, wait, is there any X's in there? Or is it just No, no, it just says Poison Lover. That is an uh, he got lucky. Right, oh, right? I always I always wonder damn. how people get some of those easy names. Once you know? it was made, they, they put a bid on it, like, no. I want this, you know. Yeah, no, no fucking X's, X's, O's, O's. Yeah, I know. Skip, right? circle, little, little, choop. We're gonna start off today's show with some PSAs. It's a public service. All right, today's PSAs, we're going to start off with the one big doozy of one. The Predator is actually going to be in Ghost Recon. Um, what is that one called? <laughs> I can't say what I usually call it, but it's called Wildlands. Ghost Recon Wildlands, there you go. <laughs> My bad. There's so many Ghost Recons. There's Ghost Recon Division, Ghost Recon... They're not all Ghost Recons. I'm yeah, like, those Ghost Recon goes to Mars. There's Ghost, Ghost Recon, Recon there's 16 a... Candles. Yeah, there's a bunch of ro- Recons. <laughs> anyway, uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands is going to have a Predator event. You know, Predator... The... Yes, of course. See, it's with you, two other guys, and Chris Hansen. You go in the jungle and try to fight this guy. Yeah. And you're going to be playing freaking Arnold Schwarzenegger. Actually, you're not Arnold Schwarzenegger. But the multiplayer actually gives you like an Arnold Schwarzenegger character. Oh. You know, the, the multiplayer when you fight each other. Uh-huh. It gives you like fucking like Arnold Rage or something like that. So you can go in and go... Yeah, something like that. That'd be awesome. That's dope. That shit starts in December 14th. Oh, and it goes all the way down to the beginning of January. Nice. All right. Um, okay, n- next PSA. Um, Overwatch's winter seasonal event just started yesterday. Mm. Okay, that's all. That's all the uh, Christmas stuff going on there. We have new skins n- and new modes and new emotes and all that stuff. All that good stuff from um, Blizzard. I was about to say Bungie right there. Bungie, you silly. No, f- no, because it's free. <laughs> yeah, right. right? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get into that right now. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna rip we're gonna, we're gonna some holes, dude. All right, uh, next one. Let's see. What, what else we got? Uh, Player Unknown Battleground is out today. Okay, for uh, what's for, that? What's that? Uh, you, you know, uh, PUBG. You mean pugs? Not pugs, pub G. It's like you know, like a rapper. Yo, I'm pub G. Hi, I'm Seven Chains. Seven Chains. Seven, seven Chains. Uh, the player unknown battleground. It's released for Xbox today. Well, it's not really released. It's kind of like in the early access thing. Stupid. I mean, the game runs like jank. You know, it's all like cricket. It runs at like 30 frames per second. Or well, something. someone greenlit it. I'm not some. So somebody. you know, it's not. It's not fully out yet. It's weird. Yeah, but you know, I, I, I mods will be mods. Okay, again, again, I don't. Unfortunately, I'm not. I don't have a high-powered PC, so I can't really tell you my experience with the game. We don't have the triangle yet. We don't have the triangle. But it'll yet. be glorious. Not the Okada Game Sphere. Okada Game Sphere. Blizzard, believe it or not, released something else—a new game mode for Overwatch. It's called Yeti Hunter, and it seems to be sweet. Oh my God, Yeti Hunter! Mm-hmm. That sounds awesome. We're gonna get him. I've seen that actually. It uses the skin from uh, for one of the characters named Winston. He's kind of like a big ape, so you know it makes sense. One of his skins is an, uh, the giant yeti, so 
Yeti Hunter. It's probably like a one versus all kind of game. Something, kind of, something beast hunting. Type something, of thing, something. You know? Yeah, exactly. Some kind of beast hunting thing. Yeah. Anyway, also coming out, well, I guess not coming out in this case is Nino Kuni because it's been delayed until next year of March 23rd. Uh, and that's something. Oh man, I like the art style of that freaking game. Well, it's from the director of um, Castle in the Sky and all those sweet movies, you know. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking uh, uh, Miyazaki. 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 <laughs> He has some nice movies. I like his movies. Yeah. Yep. Oh, they're sweet. Oh, they're fucking great. Oh, last but not least, GTA V. Starting to feel a little more about San Andreas in this one because you get a jetpack in this time. Flying around, shoot people with the AK first person. Who get? Forget about it. It's happening. It's all online. It's coming out. And, uh, of course, it's it's free. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's of course, because freaking uh, Rockstar has that kind of money. Mm -hmm. Just like just like Blizzard, they can release free DLC and not screw everybody over, which we'll get to a little bit later on today. Ooh, um, but uh, besides that, Jetpack, there's also a whole new campaign mode for just online, which is uh, something about, like, destroying the world or something like that. Destroying the world? Yeah. It's oh. like taking over the world or something like that. It's nuts. Here becoming a large corporation. Uh, something like that, you know. <laughs> that could be completely wrong, but you know. Yeah. For all you guys playing GTA Online, you guys know what you guys are doing. Oh yeah, and last but not least, I said it wasn't the last, but well, there's one more. Street Fighter 30th Anniversary is coming out. The oh, of yes. All the sweet ones. Oh, and even the yes. original Street Fighter, the oh, one that everyone forgot. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. That. Oh, yeah. That's going to have Street Fighter 1, all the Street Fighter 2s, all the Street Fighter Alphas, all the Street Fighter 3s. And last, last, but not last, least of the lastings. Stop, stop adding last. Mech, War <laughs> Mech Warrior 5. Remember that one? Uh, Mech War, damn. What was that, PS1? Oh, that's a long time ago. I remember as a PC. Ooh. And it's gonna come out in 2018, next year. Woo! And before anyone says, well, that's gonna come out next year. Yeah, it's gonna come out next year. Next year's one month. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Get down. You know, there's also an unrelated uh, news to that is that mm. uh, From Software said that they're still kind of working on Armored Core. Ooh. But, you know, obviously Dark Souls and all that stuff oh, take yeah. up with all this time. But hey, once we get freaking some Armored Core in here, oh, you know, shit's going down. Not only that, you better beef up that engine. Oh yeah. You know, I've seen those CG cutscenes. I want to make it look like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. Dark Souls looks great, so I mean. I yeah, I know, I know. Also, I hope they ship a manual. You know, a big user manual. Thick as a. <laughs> well, I mean, come on. You, I mean, like for them, it's like, oh, we're not gonna make the mech gameplay hard. No, we're gonna make the freaking customization gameplay hard. Yeah, see, because that game to me has always been like, you know, we're from Gran Turismo. Somewhere. Finely tuned. They're finally tuning something that doesn't exist. <laughs> but can't wait for that. All right. And those were today's public service announcements. And now we're going to jump into our next segment, which I like to call the meat of the bone. Bone in the meat, meat in the bone. Bone in the meat, bone in. Anyway, this section is where we talk about the various gaming news and how it relates to anything we've done and things like that, you know? We're going to start off today with um, some crazy ass news, actually. Okay, and this is what we like to call some bullshit. <laughs> okay, yeah, right? Okay, some dude decided, he, like, he goes by the name GameChamp3000 on YouTube. Champ. The guy beat Mario, Super Mario Odyssey, without jumping. Wait, wait what? He beat Super Mario Odyssey without jumping. Oh, stop for a sec. They used to call the guy Jumpman, and he beat the game without jumping. When I was a kid... You're supposed to jump. Well, well. How? Is it, what, what, you just, how? What? Well, well, well. Okay, let, let, let me let oh, me no. let me stop you right there. Oh my god. Let me stop you. Okay, so okay, the guy technically didn't jump. Now we're gonna call this bullshit. Okay, the game Techn has. Okay, yes, technically, the guy the game has a jump counter. Uh huh. Because you know Nintendo and their fucking quirkiness. They want. <laughs> it's like they, you know certain things in the game count as jumps. Okay. All right, but doesn't mean every jump counts as jump. Oh, okay. Okay, so so spotlight. so okay. okay. Things like say, uh, if you get hit by by something and you fall back and you land on a on a bad guy and it bounces you up somewhere, doesn't count as a jump. Okay, so you tell me this guy planned on getting hit, and if he landed on something with perfect accuracy, jumped and jumped into another thing, but it doesn't count as a jump because it was an actual movement, like a, a flash of invincibility. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Wow. So the game actually that's still a feat. I mean, I'm trying that's, to beat the. No, that, see, I mean, right it's there. not just with that. I mean, there's obviously uh, there's various things in games that do that. Still like say, sounds impossible. Say the guy standing still and an NPC walking by and kind of pushed him into the next bouncer or whatever. Mm, okay, you know. So yeah. So it's it's it's, it's kind of like shit like that. 
But I mean, like, it's really, crazy, but I mean, it really exploited the game. <laughs> exploited the game. I mean, I'm pretty sure the guy held the directional cross, something like that, in whichever direction for him to move. But of course. I mean, I mean, to me, it's still, they're still jumping. I mean, there's animation to it. But you know, as as it is, his counter at the end of the game pretty much said, "You did zero jumps." Right, so it's like, and I'm pretty sure the guy just went through the base game, then he collect all the moons or whatever, you know. See, what I, what I like to hear though, is That'd stories like that, but that are possible, not some glitch. I'm tired of seeing glitches or something. I, I like to hear stories about how people beat the game with legit skill, and you're like, damn. Oh yeah, I mean, shit, we've been, I mean, we've been there. We've done, I mean, yeah, we've done I mean, crazy things like that. I mean, I beat a Mega Man X within an hour. And you were actually there to see it. One day I'm gonna redo that and record it. Oh, Which I mean, I'm pretty sure there's people who've been it faster. But hey, hey, that's an accomplishment to me. Okay. Yeah. When you just play a game when you're a kid and destroy it, and when you come back to it many years later and destroy it, that's still something. Oh yeah. I mean, I used to do the same thing with Shinobi. You know, I used to just go what what I literally almost did not get. I mean, in the first level, I'll never get hit. Going fast as possible, and one time I actually do with my eyes closed because my eyes are burning. I kid you not, they were burning, and my brother was like, "Did you just beat the, the level without getting hit?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." Oh man, that's and crazy. then he hit me. Man, hey man, that's what makes us gamers. <laughs> you know, that's all yeah. old school Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo shit. I mean, mm. without cheat codes nowadays. Without you, cheat codes. No, I mean there, glitches. there is glitches, but I mean, yeah, you know. Glitch Express. Um, like that, you know. But let me tell you, <laughs> you know, you know what, you you know this story. Why don't you tell him the story about our little friend Prince? Oh my God. Well, first backdrop in his name himself. I saw him in high school. I said, dude, you look like Prince. I didn't think it was going to stick. <laughs> and that's why I think Prince. <laughs> so anyway, I still regret that. But um, one day, I'm with him, chilling with my other friends, and Chava's there, and he's looking through all the stuff for the old school Monster Hunter for PS2. The first one, I think. And he looks at all these ingredients that are built in his box, and he's looking for his weapons. So for the longest time, he could not find his weapons until he asks him, Prince, where's your stuff? He's like, oh, here's my sword. And you saw the bare basic sword. He beat the game, killed all the monsters with the bare basic sword. That's extremely hard. And his his response was, I didn't know how to craft. <laughs> Let me tell you this, bro. I mean, like, there's people who intentionally God. do things, and then there's people who do shit like that. And I God, I love them for it. The dedication of I mean, dedicate that that game oh. is, is near impossible without upgrading your weapons, and the motherfucker did it. You did it. What do you call it again? Um, bullshit. Bullshit. That's what I like to call some prime, prime grade A bullshit. Some George Carlin coming back from the grave saying bullshit. That's crazy, man. I mean, wow. I mean to be able to do that, man. Yeah, well, to be honest, it's a really good game, bro. I, I really love it. You know? I mean, even Capcom gives out free DLC here and there for the game. You know? Nah, I tell you, man. Unlike some of their other games. Um, speaking of which, this is going to jump into our next topic here about DLC. Yeah. Oh, this, this, this is it. Oh, this, no. is it. this is it. No. Right. So, I just saw the trailer for Street Fighter V's next wave of DLC. Oh my god. Okay, there's two things good and bad about this shit. They're going to release Arcade Edition, which when they first released the game for PlayStation 4, they were like, oh, there's not going to be an Arcade Edition or something like that. Yeah. Bullshit. So it's, well, more or less, it's a freaking game of the year edition either way. Yeah. The, so, you know, you get the first free DLC. You get the first DLCs for free in that set if you buy it in that set. Uh -huh. But then they go ahead and announce a $30 Season 3 set. That includes pretty much characters that should have been in the game in the first place. So, let me get this straight. You bought the game the first time, 60 bucks, right? Yep. Then you bought it again to get everything else. And then you say, hey, guess what? 30 bucks extra. Mm. You get more stuff. Huh. Even though it's 30 bucks extra. 30 bucks. 30 bucks. You buy a game full of dedication, and you're telling me for half the price, you get all this stuff. Now, let me tell you one thing. It does not take millions of dollars to make one level and millions of dollars to make one character. It takes a couple of guys to make shaders and stuff. Yeah, dude, but you know what? Like, the, the practice of this bullshit is ridiculous because um, not only is the price expensive, but you're releasing characters that people wanted. See, the season the season 2 DLC, which was also 30 bucks back then, mm -hmm. had a bunch of characters nobody cared for. Okay. That, that being said, I get new series of games. It's a new, new, like you know, new characters, and whatnot. But don't release them as DLC. Okay, well, there's like a, like you, you know, you know, you know, a company, a company that does this better would be something like Blizzard, with Overwatch. Every time a new character comes out, they give you that. They give it to you for free, completely. Oh, what about the, the maps? 
The maps are free as well in Blizzard and Overwatch and stuff. It appears that a multi million corporation can afford it. Wonder why other multi million corporations can't. Oof. Oh, right? I mean, like, this is that's on, fucking man. that's the ridiculous part about all this bullshit. Oh my man. god. You know what? We might have a really painful, uh, a really com a company that actually does the same thing or a game that does the same thing but worse, in my <laughs> opinion. DOA, dead or alive. Uh, <laughs> uh, again, <laughs> how, how much, that. <laughs> dude, how much do you get all those characters? Ooh, shit. Uh, there's like, I head. think, about $700 or so worth of DLC. Wow. And, you know, this is like, you know, we love every type of gamer there is. You know, we're, 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 not, we're not biased to anything like that. But let me tell you this. If you're spending that much money on DLC that just gives you fucking extra swimsuits, bras, uh, and adds extra little jiggle physics... You have a problem. Wait, give me a sec. So if you pay extra, two extra dollars, they just go on the floor and start dancing or what? Like, the <laughs> dick. Not, e not even that. It's it's literally like, hey, you, you want a sexy swimsuit for a sexy cat girl? Well, that shit's like three dollars. Uh, but you can buy the pack for like twenty dollars and you get all the sexy swimsuits for sexy cat girl and her friends. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, and this is, by the way, summer. Oh, well, guess what? We just released a midsummer pack. You want to see them in sundresses? You fetishy Mids bastard. Mid set. Midsummer? Midsummer. So summer and midsummer. Midsummer, midsummer, end of summer. Oh, okay. What about winter. dinner? Do you have one for dinner time? Yeah. Oh, you they have. They, yeah. What it's like, oh, look at fucking. Are you uh, serious? Yeah. Girl's dinner gown. Oh my god. Or, or uh, yeah. Oh yeah, dude. It's like I swear to God, dude. This game, this game has gone point with DLC where there's some maid costumes and. Uh, Oh, well, it makes it's sense. Like, you know, and, you know, freaking yeah, Halloween yeah. costumes, Christmas costumes. What about astronaut costumes? Astronaut costumes. I, I would, I probably, it probably is. Yeah, I know, They're right? They're probably is. Somebody has an astronaut costume in DOA. Somebody need to look that up, please. Oh uh, comment on that. That'd be hilarious. I know, right? Um, Here's a picture of the astronaut. They're fighting in space, jiggling in, in zero G. You know, it's like, okay, and, you know, the bullshit doesn't end there. I mean, like, like you know, going back to Capcom mm -hmm. and going back to Street Fighter Five in general, I mean, like... What sucks is again this the whole next season, what they call season, with about six characters over the over the year, are all like most of them are characters that people really want. So you're kind of pretty much forcing people's hands. That you know, like you know, oh well, you could say something like, oh, you're fucking, you want to, you, you want the characters, don't you? But come on, you're making me pay half half the game to get them. I'm just. Really I mean, come on, put twenty dollars on. I mean, you do they do the same thing with Marvel's Capcom Infinite. What? Uh, the, the same thing with the characters. What they do? Like thirty dollars and you get the. Uh, what is it, six characters? It seems like that's their model or something. It's, that's their model now. It's like, yeah. come on. It's like, the last game they released had like 50 characters. They should have just went like that. So it's, what? It's some... So it, um... <laughs> Sorry about that. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, and it's, you know, it's it's stupid that way. You know, um, were you about to jump into something? Yeah. I'll just say, um, well, you'll probably make a Street Fighter 10, release one character, and have DLC 10 bucks per, you know, skin. I mean, I mean... Square button. I, I know, but eventually it's gonna be like you pay more money for Ryu to do a Hadouken. I can see that happening. How messed up! And, and fans will still defend it. They're like, well, you don't have to buy it. You don't have to buy it. It's Sixty, dude. dude. How how much is a movie compared to a video game? And right. you can't say it, it costs more money. Yeah, of course, it costs oh, okay. more money. But sixty bucks for a video game is too much already. Okay. Well, you want you want to know you want to hear something trippy. Mm. Okay, if you're a person who bought Street Fighter 5 day one, and if you're staying sticking with Capcom right now, yeah. you are essentially spent over about $200 if you have everything. Hey, guys, defend that. Defend that. Jesus. $30 for each season, wow. plus maps, how much every map cost, and costumes. Oh, your ass is paying like over $200 for a single game. Uh, again, but again, the problem with this is that it's not bad shit. That's the hard part about it. It's not bad shit. You know, it's like, it's, you know, it's like, hey, more characters. Because the game started out with like maybe 12 characters or something like that. Alright, but what is the bad shit in that case? Well, the bad shit is, to me, Season 2 because it was all new characters. Nobody related to the original series. Okay. Which they probably should have released the original characters first before releasing the new characters. Wait a minute. What, happened, what about Season 3 then? Season 3 is all is ha most of its um, old characters. Like who? Like it's some, Okay, like, you got uh, Blanca. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blanca. Blanca wasn't in the original game. Right? Blanca's not part. I, I, to be honest, I'm not, I'll say this right now. I didn't play the game, see the game. But Blanca, Mr. Well, Brazil. It took till season three to give him Mr. Brazil in there. Jesus, are you kidding? Me? Well, you want you want to know worse? Sagat. Oh come on! He man. was the final boss of the this first is, game. I'm telling you, in in a couple of years, Street Fighter Ten, 
Ryu can't do his Hadouken because he had to pay, pay 20 bucks for the season pass. Come Damn. on. Right? Imagine? Oh, wait, I mean, like, okay, like, I'm at, I'm at the, I got uh, no. uh, okay, uh, most of them are new characters. Uh, if, okay. if you play the Alpha series, you get uh, Sakura and Cody as well. Dope. Though, who are two characters who are from, they're fan favorites. Yeah. So, I mean, like, you know. Cody. Uh, again, it's, uh, that's cool, but again, $30? 30 bucks. $30. It, it makes it a hard, like, to me, it's like, ugh. That's you not, guys are bastards. It's not even half the game. It's a, it's a fraction, an extremely low fraction of the game that you make us pay half for. That is just come on. Well, I mean, okay, it's, like okay, it's the idea, which I I sort of get, but they're not gonna do it. What is okay? Let's say this. They're mm -hmm. doing this throughout the years. Okay, come five, six years when you're supposed to get a new game, a new Street Fighter. They're still updating this one, so it kind of stays fresh. It's like, hey, guess what? We're evolving. We're not making sequels, but. In order for them to do that, you gotta go at least past three years and then fucking refresh the game. You know what I mean? Ugh. I, don't know. I, just, I just hate how they just handle DLC. I mean, it's just bullshit. Oh, you you wanna know who, who, what's the worst of that? Um, <laughs> Come on. There, there's worse than that. Uh, example? Let me tell you. Uh, Destiny 2. Oh god. Okay. Now, here's the issue with Destiny 2. Mm -hmm. Based off what I've, I've heard, more or less. Destiny 2 was a way easier than Destiny 1. You, you know, and you know what happens when a game is easier than its predecessor and you had a hardcore following? They cry. They cry because they get through that shit within hours. Like, you know, and imagine that you're a high level Destiny 1 player. Mm -hmm. You think and Destiny 2 was made for the casuals, just like our podcast. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, fucking, <laughs> it was made for them, but the hardcore guys were like, what the fuck? This is it? That's it? They get past the game in like 20 oh hours. God. And then guess what? Three months later, they release a, a raid. Yeah. You gotta remember, uh, Destiny sort of like an MMO. Mm -hmm. So they, they release raids, you know? And yeah. you know what happens when they release a raid? What? Oh, we've been waiting for so long. Boof. Beat it in like two hours. Off. Right? Off. And, get, get, and, get, and guess what you get? You get some coins. So you get some ducats. You beat yep. the raid in a couple of seconds. You, you get some ducats. You get some ducats. Hmm. And, and you know what happens? You know what happens when you're when you're a high level Destiny one ish two player, what? and you get ducats for beating the game over. <laughs> what? You don't get you, you get pissed. You get fucking psycho pissed. Oh yeah. You do. Now now uh, let me let me take this shit bullshit farther. Okay. Okay. Destiny one was known for its expansions that changed the game more or less. Okay. Their first expansion just released, as and we actually said that about uh, on our last podcast. But um, their actual expansion goes into far bullshit territory. Now here, here's where it's gonna blow your mind. Right. Past Street Fighter Five. All right. <laughs> Once that stuff uh, came in, it makes it part of the game. Therefore, you cannot, if you still have vanilla Destiny Two without the update, you can't do anything anymore. You have, you're forcibly have to buy the DLC to be able to do m more stuff. Bungie. Come on, man. When you were when you were with Microsoft, a big corporation, you give it out for free. You leave, you want more money. I mean, I blame Activision to be honest. But, yeah, you know, probably, probably. But that's Bungie. Come, come on, on. Come I know. Bungie Bungie. I know Bungie is doing the same thing. And which is funny because Halo still tossed. Of course, they had a DLC. Go figure. It's new, it's new era. But he still tossed off free stuff left and right. I don't know. I mean, too bad that game isn't as big, bigger than you know, it seems. Yeah, what? Uh, well, that's the Halo. Halo. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so, it's, I mean, it's I, still I rocking in the Xbox community, but it's not screaming everyone else. Yeah, right? It's not a... Well, in that case, Titanfall is doing the same thing. Ain't nobody cares about that. Well, it's because of the new Call of Duty that came out. Oh. It was practically Titanfall. Except, you know, without big mess. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, that, that's some bullshit. That's yeah. bullshit of fifth degree, and that's kind of... Yeah, so George Cullen coming back from the grave talking shit bullshit right there. I mean, DLC should be... You know, some stuff should be free. Yeah. Again, like how Destiny handles it, how Killing Floor. And the Killing Floor is a lower company. Uh, what, what, what's the company called? Killing Floor. Um, what, what were the, the guys who made it called? Oh, gosh. Um, I, I hate that I don't know this because I was on their first game, left and right. Oh, Tripwire. There you go. Tripwire. There you go. That, that's what's going on. Tripwire. A small, small group of guys. They release content for free. Well, let me tell you about those guys real quick, though. Their first game, they had uh, events left and right. But they give it out for free, free maps, free characters, and free. And, and when they had these events, they had different um, enemies. So all this is for free. Of course, you have DLC now, but they still have the same spirit. They still do all the same stuff they did when you're a humble indie company. Even though they have publishers here and there, they're still they're still rocking their uh, their indiness, I guess. 
Yeah, right? Yeah. That's crazy. And see, it's like, I, I don't know, Some, somewhere along the line, these corporations, they get like, full of shit, and then they just start releasing crap that's like, nobody, you know. There, know. There's a point where DLC is DLC, Tekken, Tekken's DLC, the Tekken Bowl, characters from other games, that's DLC. You know why? Because that's special. That's special. Okay. I mean, releasing the same damn characters that should have been in the game in the first place is bullshit. Yeah. Releasing raids and things that should be free to everybody is bullshit. And by the way, just to hop onto that Destiny 2 topic, how everyone says, if you don't like it, don't buy it. Well, how about Destiny 2? I bought the game. I don't want to buy the DLC. Where's your answer there? Right? Respond back, please. Oh, Go yeah. in the comments and say, well, blah, 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 with that no, same actually, accent. And actually, nobody's gonna, none of those guys can do it because they're probably with you on that. Yeah. Because they're, they're, they're calling bullshit on Destiny 2. I'm calling bullshit on that. I mean, That's not on. cool. Come on. I want to play online. I mean, I could play um, I could play uh, Rainbow Six. I don't have to have all the stuff, but I can still uh, play Yeah, exactly. Friends. I mean, yeah, you're just probably get your ass handed to by the new characters because, know. you know. Oh, they're just, just, they're just crackhead good. They're Counter-Strike good now. Right? I stick my head out, my head explodes, and those fragments go oh, to my well, teammates, you know, and they kill my teammates. That's a topic, that's that's a topic for another t- time yeah. about, the, about online players. Bullshit. <laughs> online players, man. Ooh. Yeah. We now, gotta talk about that some other time. Now back to hate. I mean, back DLC. To, back to the DLC. <laughs> I mean, you know. Hate the announcement, DLC, the announcement of. God. See, uh, here's where Capcom sometimes has my fucking love and they don't. Re- releasing, okay, Monster Hunter, free car- free, free um, hunts, free monsters and all that. Cool, that's cool, Capcom, that's the right direction. Awesome. Oh yeah, by the way, if you want to play as freaking Strider in Monster Hunter, well actually you get that free on the current one as well. Oh. Ain't that some stupid shit, right? Oh, God. But then it's all like, well, if you want a character that looks like Strider on Street Fighter, then you gotta pay thirty dollars. I love that double uh, standard right there. Right? <laughs> Fucking releasing these nice Street Fighter collections. Oh my god, I love them. Freaking give me all that. And Mega Man X collection coming out for PS4 and stuff next year. Ooh. Right? It's like I love you, Cat. Ooh. I love you, Mega Man. Ele- well, that's not DLC. That's actually a game. But you know all these things. And then and then you go turn around. Oh, by the way, you want the next Guardians of the Galaxy character from Marvel's Capcom Infinite? Mm-hmm. You gotta pay another thirty dollars. Oh, for come on. <laughs> Well, it's gonna be for the whole character. Is it like a tick for them, like a nervous tick to so make like, you charge uh, 30? Uh, 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 30. Right? Come on. Oh man, dude. I mean, like, I, I don't know. I mean, they're all trying to try to tie this in with their Capcom Cup bullshit. Yeah, uh, again, Cup. again, <laughs> we're, we're, again, that's another thing for the, you know, freaking esports stuff. I don't want to talk about that. Uh, lots to say about sports. that. Sports. Maybe next topic. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Anyway, though, um, DLC is just like it sh- certain things should be for everybody, mm-hmm. and certain things should not. I get it. You know, but again, locking your like what Bungie did is just unforgivable. Locking your, and they backtracked already about that. They're gonna provide a fix for that, but you know, sometimes it's a little too late for that. You I know? know, but again, back to that subject, you have to buy the DLC to actually play it online. Come on, that's just so horrible. You can't just look, it changes the game. Okay, how about this? You add the features with them, but you don't add the map, the mobs. <laughs> the maps. You don't add the maps, you just add the features. Would it really kill you? These are extra guns. Well, how about this? You don't murph your guns, but your guns still work with other people. Come on. Right? At least Square Enix being up front with it, pay that shit monthly, and you get all this shit for free. They just literally Wait, go Final to your Fantasy door. 15, they just, yeah, they go to your door, like, open the door, here's our game. We all sound English. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why Square Enix sounds like that, but. Because they're all English. Right? Yeah, you know, thing companies like Ubisoft, what they're doing with their Predator on, on um, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Is that for free? That's for free. That's for you free. Know. All right. I got some hope for me out of uh, humanity. Right. In, in for, for hunting an alien. You know, well, before we have to freaking put some DLC to continue listening for this bullshit, mm-hmm. I think we're going to kind of slow it down here and kind of call that to an end. Timmy, hit that music. This was Stock Babies. I'm the gutter cat. I'm the low five beat Nick. And you could again, you could follow us on Twitter at DJ Gutter Cat if you really want to know what's going on on our daily daily lives or whatnot, or when we're actually working on this. I'm not going to tell you my daily life. What I'm are you, some nothing. kind of? What are you, some kind of um, pedophile or something that likes to follow me? Pedophiles don't follow people. Of course, Chris Hansen. Chris Hansen. He'll stop you if you want to be Mr. Chris Hansen. Then you Chris Hansen. You can oh. follow me. I'm not even a 16 year old girl, you bastard. Anyway, did you uh, bring any condoms? <laughs> but you could also follow us on YouTube. Just look up the Stock Babies videos. Once we get enough views and and um, enough subscribers, we'll give you guys a link that you guys can find us easier. 
And, you know, subscribe to us. Hit that notification bell to know when new episodes are up. Now, go home. Get out of here. Fuck off. And clear. Oh, God. You know when you can't scratch, that's when you really have to scratch. But anyway, the other day I was with my wife, yes, and we were, you know, playing some sexy games. But of course, she wanted to have some partners. Little did I know, partners were fire animals, and I just don't, don't, don't like the feel of all my skin. Oh shit, it's still on! Turn it off! Turn it off!